the ad show. So apparently we are doing a vlog today. We've got the cool aloe vera plant in the background there. Um, also got a mic there, which I kind of feel like I need to sort out because on stream the other night, it was very, very echoey. Um, and it's something to do with this room. It's just because this room is quite echoey. Hopefully this vlog's coming out okay. It shouldn't be as bad because I'm on the phone and also I'm closer to it as well. Um, but we'll see, this might come out a little bit echoey as well. Um, so yeah, today is Saturday. I am gonna go down and do the shopping at Morrison's. Um, I've got like 14 items to get or something, so it's probably just a basket job, which is cool. Uh, planning on going for a walk later on, uh, possibly down to the beach or something like that. Um, I probably won't be doing any uni work today because it's Saturday, but we'll see how it goes anyway because I kind of do need to do a bit of work on assignments and things like that. But without that being said, let's get on with the day. So I am back from the supermarket now, put my things away in the fridge and the freezer obviously and in the cupboard. Um, do need to have a very brief sort out of the cupboard. Not that it's crazy, but there's possibly a few things that would be uh, good to rearrange in there and just make it look a bit fresher. Um, saying that, it's not crazy in the cupboard, but it's getting a bit crazy on the desk here. Got a half-eaten banana, got two cans of soup, got a half-opened packet of breadsticks, and then I've got a, an eBay box full of... Um, well, not full of, but there's a few, uh, what are we called, like Smarties and stuff in there. Don't ask me why, they're just all over, like, in the box. There's literally a box open and there's Smarties in the box, in the bottom of the box. Yeah, I know, it does get crazy. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've just been to the mail room as well, the, the local mail room here in the student village. And I got a letter from my grandma, so I'm going to actually go ahead and read that now. Obviously not on camera, but I'll uh, read that in a second. Um, and I've been getting on with a little bit of book work over, uh, well, certainly over the past few days, but even this morning as well. Um, so that's good. If you don't know, I am working on a book. It's called Revelations of the Self. It's centered around Jungian psychology, um, analytical psychology, kind of a, the, the more spiritual branch of psychology rather than, let's say, the scientific. It's working quite well at the moment for me because the course is very scientific, very focused, as you would imagine, on scientific psychology. Um, but I definitely need a spiritual dimension in my life. So doing that book and working on that book um, in, in with regards to actually a different branch of psychology is really helping balance my need for that creativity, that spirituality, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm glad to have got a bit more work done on that book coming along quite nicely but it's still going to take me quite a while to to end up get getting to completion on it you know it's what it's a, it's a huge project when you when you take on a book um and it's something that really if it if it is an in-depth book that you're doing a lot of research on it can take six to twelve months something like that it can even take way longer than 12 months but um that's assuming obviously you're doing work on it every day which i'm practically doing work on it every day so um yeah not too bad anyway so i'm gonna read that letter and i'll catch up with you in a little bit uni life eh got my avocados on toast there a bit of rice i know what you're thinking adam how are you coping not being able to go to mns every day i know it's a it's a tough life <laughs> So I've just had lunch, I quite enjoyed that. Um, I've been doing a bit more book work before lunch and in about 45 minutes or so, I'm going on a walk to the beach with one of my flatmates. So what I'm gonna try and do when I'm down at the beach is get a little bit of footage, put a little bit of music in over it um, and you can see obviously the beach and the sea, uh, the Menai Straits down at Bangor. And then on an, another day when I do another vlog, I will, uh, I'll go around the town or rather actually it's a city, but it's, it's a really small city. But I think the only reason it's a city or it's classed as a city is because it has a cathedral. Um, but yeah, it's really, really small, but I'll go around, uh, I'll show you that, um, show you the high street. And I'll show you a few other places around Bangor, maybe in subsequent subsequent vlogs after that. Um, but yeah, should be interesting. So uh, I will see you in a minute.
So I am back from my walk now. Um, forgot to do any filming at the beach, but don't worry by the magic of editing, it'll be in there somehow. Figure that one out later on. Um, just eating some cashews, you know. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm doing some book work and um, then I need to do some weeding. Then it'll be time to cook tea, veggie sausages, and um, something else tonight. I don't know. Hardest thing about being an adult, trying to cook tea and cook lunch and actually think about what you're going to have. And yes, I did steal that from someone else, by the way, but I think they stole it from someone else in turn, who probably stole it from someone else, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to get on with my book work. Tomorrow's cleaning day, so worst and best day of the week. Worst because sometimes it can be a bit of a drag, but best because you get a clean room. Um, might do a bit of poetry later on. I don't feel as if I've, I've done much poetry recently, so I want to do some poetry. I did do two poems yesterday. But I'm trying to get to 2,500 poems before I die because there was this poet who did, a very famous poet, but I forgot the name of him. <laughs> That's so bad. Very famous poet who did like 2,500 poems or whatever, and I want to beat him, so <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway, so uh, don't do poetry to beat people. That's, don't, don't look at what I'm doing. Do poetry because it comes from the heart and it's soulful and all the rest of it. Which my poetry sometimes is, but to be honest, I've given up with trying to do genuine poetry because you just can't ever get fully genuine poetry. It just never works out. Believe me, I've tried for two years. It, do, it never gets there. Anyway, you can get close. You can get to like 99%, but you never get to 100%. Um, but yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a poem today. If I do one poem a day, 365 days, 10 years... By the time I'm 34, I could have 3,650 poems. So, you know, it's pretty, it's not too hard, is it, Matt? Um, throw a few haikus in there so then I can do like five a day. Uh, anyway, don't mind. Um, not enough salt on these. Um, so, I'm going to do that. And then I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, guys, it is half nine now. It's actually quarter to ten. Um, and I forgot to vlog any more. Uh, got a Mackie's, sat around the table with the flatmates for a little while, done quite a bit of work on the book today. I've got five and a half pages down on the book, so that's really cool. I'll say bye now because I am literally going to get changed, get in bed, and uh, yeah, do it all again tomorrow. Tomorrow is cleaning day, as I mentioned, so uh, I'll be doing some cleaning tomorrow. I might vlog it, I might not, I don't know. Um... If I don't vlog it, I have got all of this week off. It's reading week this week. Which basically means I don't have any lectures, although I do have a fair bit of work to do. Um, but I'll, I'll certainly vlog one day this week if I don't vlog tomorrow. So bugger it, I thought I would continue on the vlog today. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, it is cleaning day today. So um, I'll give you a sweep round and show you the state of the room. It, it's terrible. It's currently about 7.20. Uh, obviously, I've, I'm in my night shirt, so I've just got up. Um, yeah, and I like to get an, uh, an early start on the cleaning if I can. A couple of weeks back, I was sort of getting up at half six to, you know, get a bit of a jump on it. Um, but yeah, it's slowly kind of going a bit later and a bit later and a bit, little bit later. But I like to get it done by sort of 10 o'clock. So then I've got most of the day. Um, obviously, I have to do my laundry as well. So um, that takes like 40 minutes in the washer and then 50 minutes in the dryer. So while that's in the washer and the dryer, I do my bathroom and I do this room. I hoover it out and all the rest of it. So, um, yeah, as I say, I'll give you a sweet round. And then uh, later on in the day, I'll show you what it's looking like. So, yeah, this is the state the room is in. Obviously, I've just got my bed enough because I've got to do, I've got to wash. That's my washing pile. Um, got to wash my bed in. Um, random. Well, we won't, we won't, we won't tell you what they are. There, people can probably guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a load of crap on there. That needs sorting out. My snack 
shelf. Oh yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Yeah, snack shelf. Wires are pretty... Yeah. I mean, the wires are going to stay messed up because, you know, well, that's just how it is. Um, banana, standard. I think there's a half-eaten banana there. Half-eaten banana, standard. Blue rolls, standard, <laughs> especially in this climate. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. So... I need I need to clean up and I need to do my washing and I need to clean the bathroom. Bathroom's looking okay though, but I still need to go over the surfaces and clean the toilet and all the rest of it. It's it's a glamorous life. It's a glamorous life. So it's about twenty, thirty minutes later or so, just done a sweep, uh got everything off the floor obviously, packed away some more clothing in the uh laundry pile that I'll go and take in a minute. Um obviously I've got my bedding off as well, I don't know whether showed you that before but yeah um just had a bit of an organized i still need to wipe down the surfaces as you can see a few bits and bobs around there you know don't like those bits and bobs not that i'm high in uh, sensitivity to disgust but still uh, i don't like those uh, bits and bobs there especially on cleaning day especially don't like those bits and bobs down there anyway so uh, i need to do the surfaces first because then any bits will fall onto the floor, then do the hoovering. I've made that mistake before, bloody hell. Anyway, um, going to clean my laptop, going to clean speakers, clean the light with obviously antibacterial wipes, um, probably do my printer as well, do my uh, shelf there, and um, yeah, it'll be looking a little bit better. And then obviously the hoovering, um, and then bathroom, but we're looking a little bit better. I've kind of sorted that out a bit, but I still don't like the look of it. It's a bit messy, isn't it? So I might rearrange that in a little bit as well. So I've literally just loaded the washer, 36 minutes. Gives you a handy little uh, guide here as well, because when I first came in, I was like, oh God, what do I do? And uh, it says load washer, add detergent, make payment, select cycle, press start. <laughs> Easy as one, two, three. Right, anyone watching now, just ignore this part of the video, but this is just for people who, who are watching in the future after I'm dead. Look, see, 56 wipes. I wasn't bloody joking, all right? Right, so while the washing has been doing, I have done my surface clean, cleaned my computer and all the rest of it, done all of that. I've got them cool wipes. Um, done my uh, surface on there as well. Just put that, the chair and everything on the bed because I've got Henry in here now. I'm gonna do a uh, hoover. Now, I don't think any of my other flatmates are awake uh, and that hoover is very loud, so. Well, you know, it's like half eight, it's not too bad. Um, so, we're gonna do the clean, we're gonna do hoover. Um, get this spotless on the floor here or close to spot spotless, it's never gonna be perfect. And, um, then I'll go down and get the washing and then I need to put it in the dryer. Um, then that'll be another 50 minutes. So then I've got 50 minutes to the bathroom, which is more than enough time because it's only a very small bathroom. So dryer is on, as you can see there, uh, 50 minutes. So I've got plenty of time to do the bathroom. So it's back now, get that bathroom done and uh, get the cleaning, pretty much sorted. Obviously I've got to get all my clothes sorted after the dryer is done as well. So it is the bathroom now, got to clean the floor. I mean, as you can see, it's, to be honest, it's not looking too bad, but I do it every week anyway. Obviously, just keep on top of it, give the toilet a good go. Uh, always best to keep on top of it rather than let it slide or anything. But to be honest, it looks like it's already been cleaned. It's not even, it's not even bad. So I'll just give it a very quick once over with some wipes and that. Um, didn't have enough room, oh yeah, you can see me now, didn't have enough room in the laundry kind of, well, I didn't think I'd have enough room in the drum to put the little uh, bath mat in there and also put that towel in there, so I've had to leave them out, it was a good decision because I, I wouldn't have had enough uh, in the actual laundry drum, so uh, yeah, I'm glad I kind of made that decision because I would have had to bring them back anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'll get on with this now anyway, and uh, we'll see where we're looking. Ah, there we go. All nice and tidy again. Not like those mucky pups on floor three. Bloody hell. <laughs> God, you should see them guys. Whew. So that is the bathroom done. My room is done. I literally am just waiting for my washing. So I'll get my washing back, then I can uh, basically lay it out on the bed, 
whack it in, then obviously whack it on hangers and in the wardrobe. I've chosen against doing ironing actually because I feel as if it doesn't actually need it. I thought I would need it and it's debatable whether a few shirts and stuff do. But to be honest, I'm getting away with not doing it. And if I can get away with not doing it, I will do. So, um, yeah, I put them back in the wardrobe. I need to put my bedding sheets back on, obviously. Um, and then it will be done. I mean, I'll just flip you around very quickly to show you how it's looking. I'm, you might have already seen it actually just in a, uh, another clip. I don't know whether I've done anything else. Um, but no, it's looking good. It's just obviously the final touches now. So, yeah, the uh, floor's looking a lot better than it was, as you can, as you can see there. Got my shoes there. It's a nice place to keep your shoes, actually, just down there. Um, as I said, bed needs doing, but it, it's looking really nice. It's looking good. For, for a uni room, it is looking bloody good. Uh, obviously, I've still got bits and bobs on the side, but uh, everyone has bits and bobs on the side, so it's cool. Um, but no, it's looking good for a uni room. Um, I don't know whether I showed... Well, I did in another video, actually. But I don't know whether I showed you my books up here. I've bought some books with me and stuff. So, they're ones that I've read. And they're ones that I've not read. So, I've, I've separated it like that. So, it's cool. Uh, I've obviously got the Goodreads app as well. So, I can separate it on there. Um, but I do like separating it physically as well. So, I know where my pile to read is. And where my pile not to read is. Or, well, that I've already read is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you do want to see more of my uni room, like a bit more in detail, then uh, not that really I can go that in detail on this small room. Um, but there was a short vlog that I did over on my second channel. Probably be a link down below to my second channel anyway in the description. But yeah, um, I will catch you in a little bit when uh, I've got my washing back. So I've just put my uh, clothes away. Doing the bed now, of course. Watching uh, Zezik and Peterson. Um, you know, got to learn while you're, while you're doing mundane tasks, aren't you? Um, oh, need to put them on the bed as well in a sec, but yeah. So I'll uh, get this done and then I'll be sorted. So it is half ten and my cleaning is now done. As you can see, the room is looking nice and fresh. Obviously, I showed you the bathroom before. So uh, yeah, really happy with that. Um, it didn't really take three hours. I mean, obviously, I said I started at like 7.20, but I kind of was watching a bit of YouTube in between waiting for my laundry. Um, so it probably took around two hours, two hours 15, maybe two and a half hours maximum. Um, but yeah, done it now. Now to get on with the rest of the day. I'm glad I got up early and uh, got that sorted because now it means I've obviously got the rest of Sunday to do as I will, which is always good. So I've just had food, I've just had lunch and I've just washed up. So it's now back on with some book work. Now I did just go down to the beach because as I said yesterday when I was out for a walk, I didn't get any footage for you guys at the beach. So I went back down there because I was going on a walk anyway and I managed to procure some footage. So you will have seen that already earlier on in the vlog. So yeah, I'm going to sign off the vlog now. I mean, today is, it's literally just going to be boring computer stuff, mainly book work. Um, I'm kind of trying to keep the book work to a Saturday and Sunday. But to be honest, some weeks I get bored with the stuff that I've got to do for uni and then end up sort of retreating into the creative book work that I do. And so um, some weeks on a Thursday, Friday, I do that. But this week is reading week, as I mentioned, and I really do need to get some structure Monday through Friday on doing a few of the assignments for university. So I'm working on the book this weekend quite heavily. And then most of the week will be just assignments, 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 crack them out, do the research, go through loads of different journal articles, all that sort of stuff, um, and just get some good assignments out there. And also doing the research on journal articles specifically um, with assignments like, for example, the stigmatization of mental health disorders and things like that also give me fuel to put in future books myself as well. So what I'll do is obviously compile a list of different articles that I can still use in the future for um, purposes that I can actually monetize myself because obviously when I'm doing these early assignments in university, I can't monetize them. Um, but obviously I need to be looking to the future in ways I can actually make some money off being a psychologist. Not only, let's say, if I was to be a psychoanalyst or anything like that, but 
um, in other dimensions like books and like stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm using my brain, I'm trying to organize things so that then I can um, make the best of it really. So I'll leave it there. I've, I've rambled there for a couple of minutes. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you did enjoy the video, then leave a like on it. And don't forget, if you haven't already, then please do subscribe. And I will see you very soon for another vlog.